We begin this morning in British Columbia, where the wildfire crisis is getting more intense this morning. Nearly 600 fires are burning across that province, and residents are being urged to stay indoors because of lingering smoke. At one point yesterday, the air quality was among the worst on the planet. CTV's Sneha Kokarni is monitoring the story for us. She joins us now with the latest. Sneha, what's going on with the air quality situation? Just how bad is it right now? Well, Marcia, as if the hundreds of burning wildfires aren't bad enough, the air quality ratings for some parts of B.C. are worse than parts of India. Now, I can tell you that 13 regions in the province now have an air quality health index at 10 or 10 plus. That indicates a very high health risk. People are being asked to limit the time they spend outdoors to avoid inhaling the toxic particles that are filling up the skies. And while wildfires aren't new to this region, longtime residents are shocked by the severity of the conditions this year. I've never ever been in smoke like this before. Like we get some smoke down in the lower mainland, but it's nothing like this. The other morning I woke up and it was so, so dark. I was like, did I, did I, is it still midnight? Like it was, it was insane. Take a look at some of the images coming out of BC. First in Kelowna, where thick smog from wildfires canceled or delayed at least 16 flights at the Kelowna airport Sunday due to low visibility. And across the Okanagan, the conditions are surreal, with a thick haze hanging over the entire valley. And in the northern part of the province, this plane passenger captured the columns of smoke rising over the clouds over the Burns Lake fire. Now, the landscape many are describing as simply eerie, with the midday sun obscured by smoke. It looks like dusk even in the morning. Now, air quality statements have been in place for a week, and Environment Canada says those advisories will not be downgraded until there's a significant change in weather patterns. And doctors are saying that people should stay indoors. Those high levels of fine particles in the air can be absorbed by the bloodstream and lungs, and that can cause exhaustion, even confusion. Marcia? Sneha, what can people do if they need to be outdoors? Well, it's inevitable that sometimes you need to leave the house, and doctors say that that time should be limited. Now, if you are wearing a mask, doctors advise you change it often so you're not inhaling those same particles caught in the gauze of the mask, and definitely do not exercise outside. So while residents try to avoid the outdoors, we have hundreds, thousands of firefighters out there every day trying to bring these fires under control. And I can tell you they were able to make some headway over the weekend, with weather conditions allowing crews to now burn fuel in the path of the biggest wildfire, which is burning just west of Prince George. Marcia, I'll send it back to you.